1992, the sponsor, Mr. John Carter of Texas. The gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Speaker. I, this is an exciting day for me. This, I was the author of this bill. I've been dealing with some ladies that brought this to my attention a long time ago, and it's coming to fruition today, and, and I am pleased and honored. I'm the author of the identical companion bill, H.R. 1182, uh, and I represent Fort Hood, Texas, which is a pretty good-sized military base in the United States, the largest. And I rise in support of these military spouses for this Military Spouse Residency Relief Act. First, I want to thank you for, and I thank everyone who's worked on this bill uh, and worked hard to bring it to this point. Senators Burr and Feinstein over in the Senate side took up this cause and shepherded it uh, through the, uh, and got it through the Senate, and this past due reform is now before us today. I'd also like to thank Chairman Filner for supporting our military spouses and requesting the bill be taken up today. We greatly appreciate all the VSOs who lent their support, including Military Officers Association of America, the Air Force Sergeants Association, AMVETS, the VFW, and the Military Spouses Business Association. Above all, I would like to thank uh, all the military spouses who have encouraged me and, and uh, who encouraged their representatives and senators to support this bill. Finally, I'd like to extend a very special thanks to Rebecca Pointer and Joanna Williamson, two entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial spouses who brought this issue to me and devoted so much of their time working with all the, the members that are involved to get this bill passed. Uh, this is their baby and they should be recognized. This small measure will provide invaluable relief to numerous military spouses who regularly uproot their entire lives to accommodate our armed forces. When I first heard this story, I was shocked that, that, that there was a difference, such a difference between a, a husband and wife, the two spouses, as it relates to, to the benefits we give mil the military. Service Members Relief Act provides for basic civil relief to our men and women of the armed services in exchange for their voluntary service. These range from relief from adjudication while deployed in combat to maintaining a single state of domicile, regardless of where the, their military orders may send them. This state of domicile provides an important stability for our soldiers, airmen, and Marines, and sailors. Through their uh, orders, though their orders may send them to numerous places or numerous states, they are simply able to have their, stames, uh, their state tax requirements, maintain their property titles, continue to vote for their member of Congress or their elected official back, back home. Without SCRA protections, the service members would have to deal with all those every time they move to military installations located in different states. But spouses do have to deal with those every time they move to different states. And these spouses deal with these stresses even while faced with the challenge of moving, finding schools for children, balancing uh, some unsupported relocation costs, and the loss of a spouse's earnings as they leave the job to join the service member. This bill would amend SCRA to allow military spouses to claim the same domicile as a service member for the purpose of state income and property taxes as well as voter registration. Spouses could elect to stand united with their spouse not only in support of our country, but in sharing the same state as a home base. This reform would prevent a military family from suddenly losing up to 10% of their income if they are uh, called upon to relocate to a different state. This is a significant loss of income that occurs as a result of governmental orders. SR 475 would, all, SR 475 would also provide the impetus for military spouses to put their names on deeds and titles which would build and strengthen their own credit and furtherly, further ensure their legal protection. This Veterans Day, which is coming up the 11th of this month, and that's next week, I ask each and every one of us to not only remember our service members, current and past, but take a moment to remember the military spouses who have sacrificed for and supported our soldiers. Keeping in mind 
I ask my colleagues to grant this valuable relief to our military families and to support the passage of the Military Spouses Residency Relief Act. I yield back the balance.